Hi, Ingrid. That was a great training session today, wasn't it? It was indeed, Claude. It's so nice to see you. Things have been pretty busy lately, though. I hope you're taking the time to rest whenever you have the chance. I thank you for the concern. You are ever so kind. I've finally got a free day tomorrow, so I was planning to sleep through the morning and laze around all day. That sounds so lovely. Perhaps I should do the same. Ingrid, will you just stop it already? Are you still doing that shtick? Whatever do you mean? Are you feeling all right? You're acting so... demure. It's kind of creeping me out. Ugh, you can't be serious. I always knew you were a layabout. But I see now you're also an insensitive nitwit, too. If I lecture you, you complain. If I act pleasant, you also complain. Ah, you switched back! Please, tell me how to behave. At least if you're commandeering my behavior, I'll get less of an earful of your complaints. Have you ever even once considered thinking before you speak? And you wonder why people so rarely trust you. Ah, right. I'm sorry, I guess that was kind of insensitive. Wow, quite the apology. Sounds a lot like one of your myriad excuses. Do you really expect empty apologies to help you get your way? I'm... Suddenly feeling dizzy. Oh, so dizzy. We'll have to talk about this later. There you go again. You and your excuses. <sighs> I thought if I made extra efforts to be pleasant, he and I might finally interact without bickering. I just don't know what the best approach is with him. There is no best approach. Were you listening to everything I just said? Ugh. I thought you'd run off. I told you before, didn't I? You're better off as your normal, prickly self. I don't mind getting lectured by you, so keep on doing that from time to time, okay? Just maybe not all of the time. Anyway, oh, the dizziness. Bye. <laughs> as if an occasional lecture could ever cut it.